Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 25th of August. As we come together, as we reflect on the day that has been, let us pray for each other and for ourselves. Let us ask for God who with us this evening. But most importantly, let us pray for the people of Afghanistan in their suffering. And we pray for those who have managed to be um, uh, evacuated from the country. Let us pray for peace throughout the world. And let's give thanks to God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Bless are you, Lord God, creator of day and night, to be praised and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise, to reveal among us the light of your presence, by the light of Christ, your living word, to dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light, and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. <clears throat> I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my crag, my fortress, and my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice in his temple, and my cry came to his ears. He parted the heavens and came down, and thick darkness was under his feet. He rode upon the cherubim and flew. He came flying on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering round about him, dark waters and thick clouds his pavilions. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice with hailstones and coals of fire. For you will save a lowly people and bring down the high looks of the proud. You, shall, you shall also shall light my candle. The Lord my God shall make my darkness to be bright. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried in the fire. He is a shield in all who trust in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts, and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is part of Psalm 119, verses 129 to 152. The opening of your word gives light. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The opening of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and draw in my breath, as, long for, as I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me as is your way with those who love your name. Order my steps by your word, and let no wickedness have dominion over me. Redeem me from earthy oppressors, that I may keep your commandments. Show the light of your countenance upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes run down from streams of water, because the wicked do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and true are your judgments. You have ordered your decrees in righteousness and in great faithfulness. My indignation destroys me because my adversaries forget your word. Your word has been tried in the utmost and your servant loves it. I am swollen of no reputation, yet do I not forget your commandments. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And your law is truth. And trouble and heaviness have taken hold of, upon me. Yet my delight is in your commandments. The righteous of your testimonies is everlasting. O grant me understanding and I shall live. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. To you I call, O save me. And I shall keep your testimonies. Early in the morning I cry to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open before the night watches, that I shall meditate on your word. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment give me life. They draw near that, that in malice persecute they draw near in that in malice persecute me, who are far from your law. 
you, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known of your testimonies, that you have founded them for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The opening of your word gives light. Our Old Testament reads a continuation of the second book of the prophet Samuel, chapter 15, verses 1 to 12. Absalom got himself a chariot and horses, and fifty men to run ahead of him. Absalom used to rise early and stand beside the road into the gate, and when anyone brought a suit before the king for judgment, Absalom would call out and say, From which city are you? When the person said, Your servant is of such and such a tribe in Israel, Absalom would say, See, your claims are good and right, but there is no one deputed uh, by the king to hear you. Absalom said, Moreover, if only I were judge in the land, then all who had a suit or cause might come to me, and I would give them justice. When other people came near to do obedience to him, uh, obstinance to him, he would put out a hand and take hold of them and kiss them. Thus Absalom did to every Israelite who came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole the hearts of the people of Israel. At the end of the four years, Absalom said to the king, Please let me go to Hebron and pay the vow that I have made to the Lord. For your servant made a vow whilst I lived in Jeshur in Aram. If the Lord will indeed bring me back to Jerusalem, then I will worship the Lord in Hebron. The king said to him, Go in peace. So he got up and went to Hebron. But Absalom sent secret messengers throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, As soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then shout, Absalom has become king at Hebron. Two hundred men from Jerusalem went with Absalom. They were invited guests, and they went in their ignorance, knowing nothing of the matter. While Absalom was offering the sacrifices, he sent for um, Ahithophel uh, the Gilonite, uh, David's counsellor from the city of Gilon. The conspiracy grew in strength, and the people with Absalom kept increasing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world. And great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Our New Testament reads a continuation of the book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 19 to 31. For several days Saul was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. All who heard him were amazed and said, Is this not the man who made havoc in Jerusalem among those who are invoking this name? And has he not come here for the purpose of bringing them bound before the chief priests? Saul became increasingly more powerful and, and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Messiah. After some time had passed, the Jews plotted to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul. They were watching the gates day and night so that they might kill him. But his disciples took him by night and let him down through an opening in the wall, lowering him in a basket. When he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and described to him how on the road he had seen the Lord who had, had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and out among them in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. He spoke and argued with the Hellenists, but they were attempting to kill him. And when the believers learned of it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent off to Tarshish. Meanwhile, the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and was built up, living in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. It increased in numbers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and after it receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and after it receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and after it receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and ask to receive me with glory. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We give thanks for all that you've done with us and through us, for your guidance and for your wisdom. Help us to have a restful night, that we be ready to wake in the morning to sing your praises, to proclaim your good word, to show your love to all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the people of Afghanistan. We pray and give thanks for all who have been evacuated today. We pray for those who are longing to escape, for those who are without hope, for those who are scared, for those who are in need of your protection, Lord. We pray that the rights of all people would be respected, that freedom and openness may reign. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all who are suffering with the coronavirus. We pray for those who are sick at this time. We pray for all who are in hospital because of this virus. Holy God, watch over all who are suffering with long COVID. Strengthen those who are fearful. Give hope to those who are suffering. Comfort the souls of those who have died. And be with all families who grieve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are working to provide aid around the world for charities and organisations, for all who are looking to give comfort to those who are most in need. We pray for all charitable organisations and the work of the United Nations. We pray for those who are most in need and most desperate. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with an abundance and a wonder. We give thanks for all that we have. Help us to be generous in our sharing, to offer to those who have less, so that all may have sufficient. We pray for those who are sleeping rough tonight. We pray for those who are going to bed hungry. We pray for those who are at risk of harm. We pray for those who are most in need of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Ella, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Mary, Peter, Andy, Chris and Brian. We pray too for those who are known to you alone. 
We pray for all who are suffering and in need of your comfort. For those who are reaching the end of their lives. For those who recently lost their lives. We pray especially for Nigel, for all who attended his funeral today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask. But through the merits and meditation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and again at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. And until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe, and have a very good evening.